So the whole purpose of the videos that I make here is to really kind of give a, a look behind the curtain of kind of what goes on you know sort of in the background rather than kind of just something that my company's trying to portray out in front so you know with the marketing agency we have uh, we typically deal with you know kind of national based clients now and that's been a shift for us and i wanted to explain today um why the shift happened and how we kind of filter out um that during the uh, during the initial um, conversation uh, phases. So I operate uh, what what is uh, sort of my team has come to know uh, as my three twos. Okay, and there's I'll explain it and then I'll explain why it is. So um, two years in business, at least two million in turnover, at least two members of staff. That is in essence the criteria when we're looking at clients to bring on, and there's a reason for this. So we used to deal with a lot of startups. I used to deal with a lot of uh, one-man band operations, you know, sort of single entrepreneurs and so forth. And they would come to us and they would be like, okay, well, you know, we just need, we need this webinar full, you know, we want, we want to get, you know, more leads. We, uh, it's all of that. Everything is about the right now. The problem um, with that as an agency is ultimately you're setting yourself up for failure because what happens is that you know you, you know you run you know that webinar and you fill that and it runs and webinars will typically have a, a three month um, uh, lifespan uh, you know of that particular content but then the audience is bored with that and they need something else and so what happens is that uh, what I was finding was when I was dealing with people that didn't fit that in general, didn't fit that three-two criteria. What was happening was that they were so focused on making the sales today, uh, they were quite often then trying to utilize that money to finance their lifestyle and to finance everything else. And so what would happen is that they would, they would be going through this feast and famine. So what would happen is that they would engage us, we would do great we'd fill up their webinars or we'd get like a bunch of leads for them and stuff and it all be great they're making tons of money and then they don't reinvest that money back in and bang all of a sudden they've gone you know back into poor again and so they kept doing this and for us it was it was a point of frustration because what we started to realize was that um, we had a number of clients who had really gone down the road of producing content for the long term so what they were interested in was building a brand and when you build a brand yes I understand everybody has to make a living and, and they have to pay their bills and so forth once you cross that threshold and and to get to that threshold more power to you go and get as many leads as you can go and get as many sales as you can that's all you should be focused on in those initial stages up to your two million turnover that's probably where you're heading once you pass that, it's very important to start looking and going, well, if I stopped advertising tomorrow, or more importantly, if the platform I'm advertising stops being effective, what happens to me? And this is the big problem that a lot of um, marketers, a lot of entrepreneurs, a lot of um, you know, kind of smaller size operations run into. And it's quite easy to see why they run into the problem because all you've got to do is look at what the large corporations do. And it's, they're diametrically opposed of how they approach branding. So the idea, and we, and like I said, you know, we we shifted our focus completely to um, larger campaigns. We still have, I actually still have a couple of clients who are just, you know, sort of pretty much one man band outfits. Um, but their approach is this idea of building a brand. And so what happens is by building that brand, what you're really doing is putting content out there. You're putting content that your audience actually wants to read and wants to consume and i'm not just on about you know kind of you know sort of flimsy like newsletter stuff i'm not on about that i'm on about real content that fixes problems uh within their uh you know sort of within their uh, uh company so you know as an example um you know what you know what we do is obviously you know i we put out content for from the marketing agency explaining to you as a business how to actually run leads and how to generate stuff and, and how to do all of that. The idea being is that I don't need to hold that information back in and I think all companies need to think about this is they don't need to keep that information as some, some kind of proprietary secret. Um, you should put it out there because 
the reality is is that the the people that will just take whatever information you've got and try and do it themselves they were never going to be your client because they're not interested in paying for your services but what we noticed and again this is again this is the big difference when we kind of changed our client profile is that you will come across people who understand a you know what you're going on about b they realize that time is a commodity and it's very valuable and c it is easier for them to pay you than to go through the entire rigmarole of training up an entire team building that and and sort of all that good stuff now ironically enough one of the things that the marketing agency that I have does is we do actually ultimately help. We've got a uh, we've got one client actually um, where we're training and actually helping them build a team to effectively fire us. I mean that's really what it's going to come down to because once the team is in place, the chances are they won't need our services anymore. I don't have a problem with that because I would prefer to allow them to go to the next level because when us as a marketing agency move into that next level ourselves in terms of you know the type of campaigns and so forth that we're doing they'll more than likely come back as a client again so I guess you know sort of that's really kind of what I wanted to explain uh, in this video if you've got any comments and suggestions please leave them uh, in the comments below I'm uh, really interested I do read all of them uh, and I'm you know I'm kind of always looking for those ideas but I would love the feedback on what this video was all right thanks